Okay, here we go. This is the Watcher add-on for, and it works on. Uh, you can see right there, it works on a all damage dealers, uh, but it's made for hunters, paladins, warriors. Uh, sh it says right here, currently full support is limited to hunters, warriors, paladins, which is red paladins probably, uh, feral druid, shadow priest, and other classes when the uploader gets a chance. And I'm not really sure what that means because he hasn't updated this in five months, so. Um, but it still works for 3.3. I've been using it. I got scared during 3.3 because I didn't think it worked, but it ended up working and I was doing something wrong. And okay. So I just downloaded it off Curse about 30 minutes ago and it works fine. Uh, as you see at the bottom, that's basically how it works. I'm not sure how to explain it any better than that. You can see it on my videos. Um, A solution to the problem that some people are having with it not working could be that they just forgot to click the um, the load outdated add-ons button. It's pretty simple, but like I forget it a lot, and that's normally I feel really stupid when I figure that out. Um, and if that's not the problem, then maybe something later in the video might help you out. When you first start Watcher, all you'll see is this little gray bar with a little white line underneath. That's normal because you haven't configured anything yet. The white bar at the bottom is the seconds indicator in between how long the spell is from cooldown or until the dot tick. So first go in your interface uh, and open up the add-on section, you'll see the main watcher menu. Uh, typically in the display setting category I like the combat and sometimes in PvP, uh, it depends, it, it, I normally don't PvP often on my hunter anyway. Uh, and there's, there's plenty of options, I'm just going to show you the basics for setting up. Um, just for like a shot rotation or anything and it's the same thing with all classes of course so you go to the you're gonna want to go to the primary spec uh, option unless your secondary spec is what you want and normally it will have a whole list of spells set up for you and if it doesn't then there's an option on the left called spell settings and then you can add spells but that was actually kinda complicated so right now I'm marksmanship so I have aim shot and I do not use arcane shot so I won't set arcane shot up for that however I will set up for survival uh, in a few minutes the first priority normally will always be aspect of the dragon hawk to make sure that you're never at full mana and you're still in viper the next one would always be viper and in case you're too low mana you don't notice since you go um uh, next is Hunter's Mark, gives 500 attack power, it's pretty good, you should keep it on every mob that you target. The next for Marksmanship is Serpent Sting, and that's because Chimera Shot gets a bonus, then of course Chimera Shot after that, Aim Shot, and then it's just point steady shots from there. It, uh, here I did mess up though, I, I, keep, I typically forget about Kill Shot. Kill Shot's always at the top of the priority. Um, so even even above serpent sting so the priority would go kill shot serpent sting chimera shot aim shot and steady shot and with a uh, silencing shot that's something you just do with your own i typically actually uh i have it on my four key but i don't really use it often i just have it bound to a macro in my in my other shots so it automatically uses Okay, so now that it's all set up, you'll see much like what's on my screen now, I use Aspect of the Dragonhawk and it goes off the priority. I use Hunter's Mark and that goes off the priority and so on. You, every time you put on a dot, it will stay off the track unless you need to refresh it and so it will much be like a cooldown. Consider it like a cooldown actually. Um, however, you won't really see my Serpent Sting because Chimera Shot just refreshes it. So this is much how you see my raid videos. It, it's basically as standard as this, and uh, you can modify it to however uh, you want it. It's a lot different with each spec, though. Um, and with Marksman, you would use uh, Arcane Shot, unless you have a certain amount of range of uh, armor penetration. So now I'm going to switch to Survival, as soon as Jeff gets away from the target. Um, and it, it's just a bit different, I know. Drudini and Deva have survival hunters, so that this portion will be for them. Um, just a side note though, for warriors, it's a bit confusing because of Heroic Strike. Um, with this add-on, I don't really understand it with Heroic Strike, because I don't really understand how Fury Warriors work sometimes. Um, but I mean, like, you could just say, like, Whirlwind over Bloodthirst. Okay. Um, 
This is the only downside I think about Watcher is that it doesn't have enough uh, priorities. Like there's eight of them, but there's it's not enough to make it convenient. So um, you'll see I run out here because I do the traditional um, Dragon Hawk, Viper, a Hunter's Mark, Kill Shot, Explosive Shot, then Serpent Sting because I have the two piece uh, tier nine. Then black arrow, aim shot, then sur uh, steady shot. But I don't have enough room to put steady shot. So this is what it looked like if it would have gone well. Um, basically, it, it, yep, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I hope this has helped make it a bit easier to set up. Um, I just typically I I moved all my add-ons to my desktop, so I made a fresh new interface in WTF folder, and I downloaded off Curse. Everything's working. Um, so if you have problems after this I'm really not sure um, and like I said you can there are movable frames and such it there's some, this is basically very plain and this is actually a function I really like uh, you can switch it te you can, it tells you when to switch to Viper or Dragonhawk based on your mana percentage which is actually really helpful I, I use that on my uh, on my hunter during raiding just so I don't forget that I'm going um or anything um, from here on, if you want any more direction on different classes, it's somewhat difficult for me to answer. Um, maybe the comments might help you on the Watcher page, but I typically have used this add-on for a while.